So we've got a bit of a quick one for you fine folks today. As CES 2021 is wrapping up, an interpressor, Trendforce, has announced that as per their investigation, TSMC will be mass producing Intel's next generation entry level, mid range, and high end CPUs on its 5 nanometer and 3 nanometer process nodes. Intel has already announced that it will be outsourcing several of its non CPU chips to third party foundries, but this is a major news break and it confirms that they are planning to move their biggest product lineups to external fabs. And it looks like after Alder Lake in the second half of 2021, Intel will be moving to TSMC as its prime partner in mass producing next generation CPU lineups. See, the press release states that Intel's core i3 CPUs will be the first mass production lineup made at TSMC and will be utilizing its 5 nanometer process node. Now, do note that the mass production doesn't exactly mean a hard launch, and we might end up getting these chips later around 2022. With that said, Alder Lake CPUs will focus on high performance while utilizing the 10 nanometer enhanced SuperFin process node. But Intel plans to shift its entire mid range and high performance lineup to TSMC by the second half of 2022. The next generation processors will be featuring the more advanced 3 nanometer process node from TSMC and will be the successor to Alder Lake lineup. Now it is not known whether these will be mobility or desktop parts, but from the looks of where things are headed, Intel might utilize TSMC for mass production of both segments. Now Intel has previously confirmed that DG1, Tiger Lake, and SG1, a flavor of DG1 designed for servers, will be manufactured in-house using Intel's 10 nanometer Superfin process. The upcoming Intel XE HPG GPU for gamers will be made on an external foundry process, quite likely TSMC, and probably on the 7 nanometer process, considering the 2021 timeline. But what could this mean for everyone else? Will Intel be able to come in and strong arm TSMC to relieving some of the fab space that would have been going to the likes of, well, AMD. It'll be interesting to see. I'd love to hear your comments on that one. And for more on this and other news, follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.